Oh, look at this guy. Show me cards. Not like we're gonna, gonna finish redrawing. We have to go first. Might as well go with the riders. I'm lost with this game. Hope to learn it from you. No problem. I was pretty lost as well for the first uh, hour or so. Also, the tooltips are incorrect uh, from some cards or missing for others. Like, for example, <laughs> good question. I tried to play Shoe earlier today and he failed. I couldn't play him. But my opponent in that very same game managed to play Shoop. Question is What do you need to do to be able to play Shoop? <laughs> can fight the game on PTR and less loading screen. Maybe the guys in chat can help. That, that was the approach I... That was my approach. Is it fun to play so far? Yeah, it's different. The only not fun part is people are... are cowardly. They run away all the time. I live to serve. No golds, maybe? Currently, it feels like the strategy is very much about throwing away your bronzes first two rounds that don't matter too much. Then you just save as many golds as possible. Did I say throwing away your bronzes? Because that's what I meant to say. Throwing away your bronzes first two rounds, then save as many golds for last round. Easy. It's fine. And turn. Have you tried any English foods? Uh, Savloys from fish and chippies are lovely. Let us see. What was that? Play the top card from your deck. Huh. <laughs> top card is the darkest four. No, Sika! Judge! Fish foods. Uh, let's just go with the buff. And buff again. Right. I don't know what counts as English food. I'm impressed. We're talking about saveloys from fish and chippies. Chippies? <laughs> I, I would actually need to Google that first. Chippies? That, that's gotta be chips, right? Fish and chips, right? We're talking about fish and chips plus some kind of uh, sausages. Yeah. Fish and chips plus sausages. Pathfinder Kingmaker. Oh yeah, I'm actually playing it on my YouTube channel. Like 20 people are watching it daily. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's it's an 
the, the popularity of it is just crazy. Now, it started out more popular. I'm not sure what I should do with Let's Plays like that. Should I even upload it to the channel? Because, for example, I... Like, almost made a... Well, yeah, I did literally make a Let's... I didn't finish the Let's Play, but... I basically made, like, a half a Let's Play or two-thirds of a Let's Play of Divinity... Divinity 2? But I never uploaded it to the channel. I had a lot of fun with it, but... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't upload it, but yeah, I didn't upload that. The second one, because I didn't finish it. But the first one I did upload, and it wasn't popular whatsoever, which is fine. There is no escape. Uh, I just hit that. Eight points. It's not too bad. <sighs> You're in Yorkshire. Uh. Likely got some awesome curry flakes around. I try to avoid fast food. Also, it's kind of expensive. But we can play the cow. Do we want to play the cow? We might want to play the cow. We can pass. And uh, now we're going to play the cow. Was that a bad... Is that a bad idea? I think that might be a bad idea. Pa passing would have been okay. We might just play the horn up that. If it doesn't work out, we're just gonna play the horn. <clears throat> the Avaloids are more special than a sausage. Oh, the store had some. Trigger the cow. What should we do now? Should I just go with the horn? Okay, we play the horn. Maybe some best offs from Gwent. People love such things. On the channel? I actually upload, well, not recently, but I upload like proper videos from Gwent. Used to. Uh, we're just gonna pass now. That seemed to be reasonably popular. I personally like on that content. <laughs> Maybe like lightly edited on it. Yeah. Or heavy edited can work too, for some. For some content and for some people, but I tend to prefer lightly edited and just uh, with heavy focus on commentary. <laughs> Homecoming, new cart, play stream from the graveyard. Oh crap, that car carcass. That was fast. <laughs> Rock Tusser is a very serious card. So your opponent passes. Well, that's fine. Uh, yeah. We are saving the redraws for later. Still have the hero power. So, yeah. <clears throat> so time to mulligan like crazy. Not the necker warrior. Okay. No. What? <clears throat> ah. Not the best selection of uh, cards. So I have to go first, and we might as well... No, no, no. We gotta play the Neckers first. 
Now we play the Neckers over here. In the back. Then we're gonna play Karantir, our final. And copy either Yennefer Conjurer or Imbralit. I think we're gonna Basically, copy Yennefer. Then we're gonna make her immune. <clears throat> there is no escape. If you guys have a better combo, uh, tell me. Because this is a pretty good combo. <clears throat> Already uninstalled this. Whoa! Okay. That's fair enough. Barbarian tone. Uh oh. He can't target uh, Yennefer. And uh, I only have garbage. Quite the mean. He's gonna target his own cards. Uh, we might as well go with Jennifer number two. You cross the wrong sorceress. Our archetypes still a tank. Less so. First of all, I don't know about all the factions yet. <clears throat> what I do know is that when I try to make a Vault Hunt work, I put in all the cards Vault Hunt has, and uh, I still have to put in these guys. Neckers. Because Vault Hunt just simply doesn't have enough cards to put in. Oh, I don't like this guy. Well, at least my deck is full of trash. <coughs> zap him! Zap him again! Well, we can play Imbralet. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should play Siri Dash. Because if we play Imbralet, then we have to follow it up with Old Spear Tip. Well, I'm gonna play Siri Dash in the back. You've talked enough. Now, these guys are actually pretty good. The Neckers are pretty decent. They go up to like they already went up to eight, and they only cost four supply to put in. So I do consider these one of the best cards to use. Order will triumph. <clears throat> it must triumph. A Lato Kingslayer can transform to any card. That can be an interesting idea for combos. Do you miss Nilfgaard Spice already? A double zap. And I'm gonna go with... Umbrella. This guy's gonna go up to 12, which is insane. Well. They start out as 1-1, one, one, and they're gonna end up as 6-6. Uh, six, six. <laughs> oh, we gotta put him... ...there. Trigger. Oh, what? No, oh, I put him in the wrong place! <laughs> I forgot about reach. We gotta draw the card yeah, plus. A... No! Maybe not. Kill that. So we're in the lead. I'm just gonna play the Hound. Draw. It's a gold, and he gives up. 
I wanted to play Regis, we would have been able to hit the last row twice. But GG. Um, reveal guy. Okay, we are not gonna mulligan. I just played Double Rider. Cleans the deck. Then we're probably gonna play the Necker. <clears throat> Wait, who is it? Surper. On battle start, disable the enemy leader for the duration of the battle. What? This is the boringest leader of all time. No door is close to me. Most boring guy ever. <laughs> so, his ability is that I can't use my ability? Is that it? Am I right? Why should something as trivial as birth decide who rules over us? Well, I'm Erdim Break's face. Ah. Oh. Never mind that. I'm not gonna pass. I'm gonna play a uh, guy. <sighs> that was in the Witcher 3. That he disables the enemy leader. Oh yeah, actually I forgot about one one feature Please. that that's Apparently my leader is supposed to look in a way I'm 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 pointing at. Hey, <coughs> right in. Over here. Can you check out usurper's dick? No. Never mind that. Look away. Pretend you didn't see that. Whatever. Check, just look at the rider dudes you played. Uh tactical advantage. Uh sure. Let's go with that. Why not? We're just gonna play the bronzes. Wait, what? What is message? Oh no, this is the history tab. Oh, I'm really glad that I didn't put my face here now. So you guys can uh, check this out as well. But I suppose it, do it doesn't show. Screw you, man! <clears throat> He's worth like 15 points! swim breaks the PTR the degenerate deck well from what I know I already broke the PTR with we this follow lead. what is that <coughs> we did lose once but no one else seemed to beat, beat me that that guy got lucky as hell though. deploy reveal the top card from the enemy deck and banish it so he banished my Owned. Sure, why not? Mm. Resistance is futile. Oh, we have reached one. And 
turn. Yeah. I have quite the lead. I hope they will change him. Ooh. Adam or Usurper. Usurper is kind of boring. It <laughs> sounds like cool, so, so metal like, oh. The enemy can play. And I think that's kind of cool. But I don't know. It's kind of boring way to do it. Instead of both leaders having like a unique uh, ability, you simply just none of them simply have the ability. I don't know. Could be fine. It kind of depends on how popular he will be. Because I, I wouldn't want a game where I just usurpers against usurpers and these abilities are just turned off. Ah! On the round. So I have to play at least one. What I won. It doesn't matter, I have to play at least one. Death comes for you. Death comes for him. We have half a crown. I always find a bit me. hard to see. <clears throat> he's gonna pass. <laughs> he's, a, he's dumb. He's just gonna take it. Like, oh, look at me. Unless he's like loaded with gold. But prop, that's not the case. Because that's me. Oh, Lato is going away? Wait, what? It's this round then shuffle this unit into the enemy deck. Eh. What the fuck? Okay. Five mulligans are not enough. Time to get our hands. To try to get rid of some bronzes. So, if I'm right, then we can play our hero power. It shows that we have one, but we actually don't have it. I think we more than did with the swarm skeleton. So, well, we can play King of Beggars that generates some value. This generates a lot of value. These generate a lot of value. But I can't defend them. Who do I spy? If he has some locks, he should lock that. Transform into short. Wait, what? He's running locks as well? Oh. Kyle I'm right. Yeah, everything break glass doesn't work. We gotta played another short, <laughs> but, yeah. hey. For the Emperor! I have a guardian on top of my deck. <laughs> Fine. Zap him. Does he have double lock? Uh. 
There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. I'll just go zap number two. Uh, why no tutor effects ah, and double bronzes? Give me back my early open beta Gwent. Wait, what? <laughs> this is not good. We have a 1 in 4 to kill it. Or Dragon's Dream kills it in 3 turns. Or we play Imbrelet. And that might kill it. But the problem with that... Oh boy, this is bad. I don't know how to do it. I can zap, but that's not good enough. So this kills it for in a 1 in 4. I, I really dislike this. It's still a crap card. I random. Okay, at least we managed to do a double zap. If there are four or more units on the opposite row, seize the enemy with the lowest power from that row. He locked it as well. What a bad <coughs> Okay. Who told you to fight like this? Imbrellet. You just have to buff Imbrellet. Look at that. Lock, lock, steal. We can buff Imbrellet to a 7. That's good. To me, need how cheap are those? I have to check out uh, Nilfgaard. Because... Seems like every Nilfgaard player has uh, 10 of these. Play the dragon stream pretty fast. Yeah, I know. Play a gold unit from the deck? It's gotta be one hell of a gold unit. If you're using that piece of paper for it. I knew you would ask for this. The lock and the <laughs> unit. So you can just use it anytime. So if I buff, I'm gonna be punished. Okay, what? Throwing the lock down in the unit. It's more nothing now. Problem is, <coughs> I'm gonna get hit for a lot of points, and I can't, I cannot prevent it. Because we have to establish the dragon queen. Well done. Healing my Yennefer Conjurer. Well, we had a chance to take it out with the Arcus Core. That didn't what work. What you looking at? Okay. 
Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> Catch! Will I have a chance to actually trigger the cow? Could I just mess up? <laughs> I really hope so. Please, cow. <laughs> we got him. The game. Oh, look at that. We're ripping his cards in half. That would be a good way to make more money in a lot of card games. GG.